We've had a lot of fun over the years, buying the most interesting, exciting, delightful pieces of tech on the internet. But today's the day where we spend $7,000 buying the absolute worst it has to offer. The most unsettling, cursed, just plain wrong tech money can buy. Okay, let's just look for some cursed gaming tech. Every image here is making me internally gag. Oh no. Shopping basket as a PC case. Cursed. PlayStation 5. The GS5, it's 12 pounds with two controllers and free shipping. Sadly, that's exactly what we're looking for. Am I seeing this right? The PlayStation 5 comes with SNES controllers. What a strange image. First gaming controllers. Pizza Hut! You can get a Nintendo Switch gun. That's not very Nintendo. What is that? So it's called the Dragon Quest Slime Controller. Well, I found it for $155. Tell me this is not a real controller. How on earth are you gonna be able to hold that in one hand while typing with the other? It's got Patrick Star. That's not cursed. That is elite. Sony actually made a chainsaw controller. That is so cool. We can import it. Well, that one's gonna be a fun one to explain to customs. Okay, so this console is apparently meant to have the most cursed library of games in existence. I remember seeing gameplay footage of a Mario game played on this, and trust me, it was haunting. Speaking of cursed video games, there is something here called Babysitting Mama, and you're meant to take the baby and... I can't. I can't. So apparently if you want to reach the highest tier of gaming, you also need to get yourself a Game Ball. I mean, it might be as revolutionary as they're saying. It just looks ridiculous. The Game Boy had a camera. Like, when did the Game Boy come out? 1989. That's almost 20 years before the first smartphone. What did photos even look like back then? Game Boy camera resolution, 128 by 128. Yes, because obviously someone's made a knuckle duster for the Joy-Cons. Nothing is sacred. Okay, so controller storage rack. Tell me that's not hanging the controller by its joysticks. Don't do that. Imagine trying to relax knowing that your controller is hanging like that. First gaming tech. Bye. That's literally our video. Why has our video been labeled as cursed? What's Google trying to say here? Okay, I think we should move on. Cursed kitchen tech. This would cause an unfortunate amount of accidents. You can get a microwave bacon wrap. You never put bacon in the microwave. A pencil sharpener the size of your hand so that you can grate carrots. You can plug this into a fruit and then it turns that fruit into a spray. That's actually really cool if it works. Is that a swore maker? Why does it look so menacing? Um. <laughs> So there's a vertical egg cooker. It looks great. <laughs> this is making me very uncomfortable. I think we spoiled the gaming room in the kitchen enough. Cursed lifestyle gadgets. Instant underpants just add water. Excuse me? I'm so confused. I will order a pair. A coin eating savings bank. Something about the face on this bank is making me really uncomfortable. It actually like chews and swallows the money when you put it inside. Digital skipping rope? What is she doing? These people are literally bouncing around with no rope. Finger extensions. Okay, fine. Of course we ended up on wish.com. A working watch the size of a ring. How are you going to be able to read it? There's also a watch that's apparently a lighter. That seems safe. Okay, so basically my single least favorite item out of everything that I own is this little thing called the Roctopus. They have managed to find a way to make every one of the legs also the rock. I'm gonna buy it and then I will immediately burn it when the video is done. It's a pimple popper. You squeeze it to simulate popping pimples. I know there are some people who really enjoy that. I'm not one of those people. A cat brush designed to be used with your mouth to simulate being the cat's mother. Milo? You can get nose and ear soaps. What are they gonna smell like? The Mutal. I only clicked this because of how wrong it looks. It just doesn't sit well with me. But it's basically meant to be a soundproof Bluetooth microphone that makes it impossible for people around you to hear what you're saying. Right, what's this? Ostrich pillow. I've got to know how this looks, right? I mean, just look at it. <laughs> okay, what about like a cursed charger? What is this? Creepy phone charger looks like it will strangle you in the night. We can assure you will never buy this $6,000 phone charger, which resembles an umbilical cord and pulsates while plugged in. Oh my God. But it's an actually working charger. So it's handmade by some Japanese artist and she'll apparently custom make it for whatever phone you decide. This is so expensive. It makes no sense at all to buy this product. But I did promise to buy the most cursed tech on the internet. Add to basket. We don't talk about this anymore.
Okay, everything's arrived. I've barely even looked at all the boxes and I already feel disgusted to my core. So I'm gonna see if I can try and survive a normal day of my life, but using the most cursed tech on the internet. Oh, beautiful morning. It's cursed day. It's the first thing I do every single morning, I get dressed, which means instant underpants time. Soak your pants in water as any good morning starts. And when's the last time you got your pants out of a tin? <laughs> I can't believe this is underwear. It looks like an oversized painkiller. I did nothing. Am I supposed to let it brew? Is this meant to be an instant reaction? Magic. Okay, well, while we wait for our not so instant underwear, at least I can see how much time has passed with the ring watch. I can't believe this is my watch. And it actually makes so much sense. To be fair as well, not as hard to read the time as I was expecting. Although, so tight, I think it's reducing the blood supply to my finger. Oh, it actually hurts. Like it's actually cursed. Do you have any pliers? <laughs> Milo's come to save me. <laughs> I'll go with the screwdriver. My day is officially ruined and it's only 9.30 a.m. Oh, that is not good. I'm genuinely scared about the state I'm gonna end up in by the end of this day. There's one consolation with all this stuff, it's that at least it was incredibly cheap. It's going for this really fancy, classy, royal looking watch face, but then the straps, they look like they're made of like recycled bin bags. Okay, so then you top it up with lighter fluid. Well, this is not dangerous. And that has now also covered my wrist. Just so we're very clear, if I hit the lighter button on this right now, my entire hand could just go on fire. I need to make sure there's not a trace of lighter fluid still on my hands before I light that. Oh no. It's the soap. <laughs> it's even worse than person. If this was like bright green or bright red, it would be far less haunting than it is. But the fact that it's skin color. They've managed to make it somehow devoid of any scent whatsoever, which makes me even more uncomfortable than I already was. The texture is so weird. Oh, ah! <laughs> oh that freaks me out. Doesn't it also kind of look a bit like a pasta? Disgusting. I'm gonna leave it in the middle of the sink. If we hear a shriek later, we know what it is. Okay, maybe it's nothing. Nothing is happening here. Oh my god! Did you get that? Okay, so this just exploded off camera. It turns out the fuel, when you put it in, is actually leaking to the back of the watch, which means that if I was wearing it on my wrist, my hand would have probably caught fire. So please, don't buy one of these. And still, nothing from our supposedly instant underpants. I'm gonna have to come back to it. What a terrible morning. Really hope breakfast goes better than our wake up. Start by moving it up on the inside. Okay, so that's heating up, and while it does that, it's time for our orange juice. This is one of the very few products that I'm actually not terrified to test. You basically stab this into the fruit and then it uses its mechanism to break apart the internal cell walls so that you can apparently just spray the juice into your mouth. When did you ever think you'd see that? Okay, the green light is on. Let's crack two eggs inside. That did not sound good. The fact that these eggs are just cooking within this mechanism that I can't even see is mildly uncomfortable at least. Now it's time for the bacon. This is such American packaging. It could just be how the day's going so far, but her eyes are looking deep into my soul. When I was eight, I invented the best way in the world to cook bacon. Let's see about that. So this basically creates three racks for you to hang your bacon on, and then a tray to capture the fat that comes out of it. So it's meant to be healthier? Okay, yep, so it literally is just a hanger for your bacon. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't kind of satisfying. It feels like trying to hang bacon on it is in itself destroying the bacon. And then presumably when the fat in between the meat melts, it's just gonna fall apart. Okay, so the last thing is you place a tissue on top so it doesn't splatter inside your microwave. And then, in you go. What is this gonna look like when it comes out? Right. What on earth is happening with my egg? I have to say, one thing that's made me feel slightly better this entire process is the fact that I can actually smell the fresh orange coming from this. Mmm! It's gonna take a lot of sprays to fill a glass, but wow! Oh, it's so refreshing. And I guess when you want more juice, you just squeeze the bottle. This one's definitely going in the actually not bad at all category. So here's a question. If you can't see your egg being cooked, how do you know when it's done? And to be fair, as advertised, a lot of the fat has just fallen into the tray below. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a bit dry and it's very chewy, but it is bacon. I think it's time for human intervention with this egg. It's easy, does it? How do you like your eggs in the morning? <laughs> it looks like an alien egg. Never has the bacon looked more appetizing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I suppose I actually have to eat it now. Okay, I mean, it tastes like an egg. It just no longer looks like one. Hey, after a hearty breakfast, we've got... I mean, what even are these?
So this isn't like electronic or anything like that. It's literally just self-regulated. What the hell? This is the stupidest gadget I think I've ever seen. Is this like a, a practical joke? One, two, three, four, five, six. They're spinning at different speeds. How do you count? The entire idea is a little ropey. Just out of curiosity, I do want to compare it to a real skipping rope. Oh dear. So this has just reminded me of a couple of cons with a normal skipping rope. A, the fact that it keeps smacking the ceiling. B, the fact that it keeps getting stuck on things. And C, the fact that it keeps whacking my feet. Ow! Bugger. Oh yeah, I've just realized there's one more thing we need to do. So last year we had the uh, unfortunate pleasure of obtaining the Roctopus. And we've just now inherited its successor. Oh dear God. So far, that is the single most cursed thing I've seen all day. I can't describe to you how much I hate this, but since The Rock is the gym guy, I'm gonna have to leave him to watch over. This video really isn't working out. So I've had a full hour of a proper workout, not these things, and I was kind of thinking, I fancy a nap. Now, I'm not normally a nap person, but I've always loved the idea of it. And this product, the ostrich pillow, it's kind of the perfect opportunity. It feels eerily soft as well. Wow. It's like a bean bag, but just with like really, really fine beans. Here goes nothing. Oh God, it's really dark in here. That can't be right. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so each one of these is for one of my ears, and then this is for my mouth. So I could lie down and have a conversation with someone. I mean, it's kind of designed in a way that you'd be able to sleep anywhere and still feel comfortable. To be fair, it kind of achieves that. Actually, the most pleasant part of my day so far. Ah, time for a bit of gaming, which would probably actually be quite a nice activity if we were doing it on a relatively normal setup like this. I say relatively normal because if you've seen the video with me and Vic Star when I built this, it's got some issues. But we are not. It's time to hang up our traditional PlayStation 5 controller. One sticky pad, two sticky pads. And then we hang it by the joysticks. Looks about as uncomfortable as I am. Let me show you what we are using. There'll be no PS5 today, just the GS5. I mean, the size difference is actually kind of impressive. But my goodness, the ports and the buttons look uh, rough. I actually do kind of rate that it comes with its own mini GS5 stand. I think this might be the lightest, most empty feeling controller I've ever held in my hands. There's nothing inside of this. They haven't even got around to labeling what the buttons are. No button on either of these controllers is doing anything. Do you just need to press like super hard? There's definitely something cursed going on with this video. There's 300 games in this. There's like a full second of delay, even though it's a wired controller. It's far from the worst thing I'm gonna use today, but not great. This one's even smaller. And this time they've not just copied Nintendo's games, they've also copied their controllers. Not to mention the fact that this console and these controllers are about 30 years apart. Action game, shoot game, sport game, fighting game, racing game, puzzle game. Wow. Just within shoot game, there's 150 in one. This is like when consoles only had the power to create 2D games, but they tried to use optical illusions to make them seem like 3D. But then again, if you were really into games from this era, then to be able to have like a thousand in a device this size, and for the price it costed, is actually not that bad of an offer. It's no Call of Duty, I'll put it that way. It's actually surprisingly low latency considering that this is a wireless controller, and technically for the wrong console. Wait, they've got the entire console backwards. Just like, I guess, the games you play on it. My team's actually prepped these in the order that they think goes from least cursed all the way to most cursed. So, time to step it up. <laughs> so, this is a Philips CDI. I've never played one in my entire life, but I've seen footage. And just trust me when I say, it is scarring. I mean, it all looks hunky-dory right now. It's got a nice game, it's Hotel Mario. Everything's bright and cheery in the world. The scary thing is gonna be more what happens when you play it. It's also weird to see like a Philips boot up screen. And this thing right here is the controller for it. Have you ever seen anything like it? So all of this stuff up here is for the game. And then you've got your separate media controls down there. So the entire reason this console exists is because Nintendo at one point realized that CDs were about to be the future of consoles. And they contracted out Philips to design an add-on that allowed their Nintendo console at the time to support CDs. But then one day, even after Philips had actually designed the thing, Nintendo just turned around and were like, Actually, we don't need this. So Philips were just like, screw it, we've made the thing anyway, let's just turn it into its own console. Which is why you have this bizarre scenario where a machine made by this company is playing Mario. Oh, it feels very strange seeing Mario and Luigi as full-size people. Oh, these characters, oh, they're horrible. <laughs> That's not Mario. <laughs> It's like someone's drawn them in paint. Close enough to be recognizable, but far enough that it makes me not want to sleep at night. 
This is haunting stuff. Moving on to the Nintendo Switch, the console I actually do like. So these are the Joy-Con knuckle dusters. It does feel like a very strange concept, considering how these are basically designed for kids. Kind of blingy, not gonna lie. Hey, that's actually not bad at all. I genuinely think that adds a significant amount of comfort to controllers that otherwise would be too small for my hands. Like you can very clearly see the layers that the 3D printer has built, as well as little like hairy kind of wires that are falling off it. But really, I mean, these are knuckle dusters. Only way to test them is to engage in a fight. Okay, so this is Joseph. He actually helps to get a lot of this stuff ready. And I'm just deciding what character to beat him with. For the first time. Fighting talk, considering I'm the one with knuckle dusters. I don't like it. I don't like it. I have to say, the knuckle dusters are slightly too wide. Oh, that was massive. I feel like it makes a difference. Like when you're holding, oh. Sorry, what? I think compared to like a pro controller using these little Joy-Cons, it's not designed for instant sensitivity. No. Don't like this, don't like this. Oh, he's polished me off. And that's actually problematic because um, the next controller I'm about to use is a little, a little more extreme. Yeah. Let's see if I can topple Joseph with this unit of a controller. The ergonomics of uh, this controller are not nearly as cursed as I thought they would be. I think I'm going to have to put this in actually not cursed. It's getting a little heavy. The normal Switch Joy-Cons had to be portable, so a lot of ergonomic compromises are made just in the nature of that, which didn't have to be made here. I'm using a piece of kit from the 1990s and you're losing. Come on, come on, get out of here, get out of here, yes! You know what? Unexpected delight. And when it's resting here like this, being able to actually have a full-size keyboard is kind of crazy. I'm a huge, huge fan. I don't think you are. <laughs> so, this is a normal PS4 controller. This? is the slime controller. So slimes are one of the monsters found in the Dragon Quest games. Oh, actually, that's crazy. Wait, they're right there. <laughs> this is not designed for human hands. I mean, this genuinely has the worst ergonomics I think I've ever experienced. You're actually meant to store it upside down so the joysticks fall in this random little stand. None of it makes any sense. I can just about deal with the ridiculous button layout and the fact that this thing doesn't have rumble and it also doesn't have a headphone jack. I think you just got this upside down face looking at you the entire time. This is actually so grim. <laughs> the attention to detail is shockingly good. It looks so much like blood that I actually really don't want to touch it. Oh my God, and then you start it by... Go away! That makes the controller, and I can actually feel the rumble of it. Oh yeah, and of course, if you're holding the controller in a completely new way, they've also had to completely reimagine where every single button goes. Look at this, R2 is here, L2 is like there. This feels very wrong to be using this to play Crash Bandicoot. But you know what, the fact that they built this entire mechanism for the haptic feedback when you do this, it means that when you are playing, you can really feel the impact of every footstep on the ground. It's really satisfying. Okay, I mean, this seems, this seems nice. I'm in a good mood. So I think it's like a game that teaches you how to look after babies. I just realized what we need to do. The controller goes inside of the baby. It's already moving towards traumatic territory. Milk time? I don't know what it thinks I'm about to do. <laughs> Using a bottle. So you kind of put it like that. Oh, and then every time you feed it too much, it starts crying. And this is one of the most cursed experiences of my life. I think we're gonna have to name you Kirsty. And why is this diaper detachable? What are you taking off? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I think I'm, I think I'm done with this. Right, probably do something useful now. Work time. And for that, this is Mutalk. It's designed for people who take a lot of calls, but they don't want to share with the world what they're talking about. So you stick your mouth into this chamber while you're taking a call, and on the very inside is apparently a really high quality microphone. So it should isolate background noise really well. I mean, the reason it's on this video is more because of how it looks when it's on. Kind of like Bane from Batman. Can you hear what I'm saying, Josh? Have a great start. Hey. Oh, hello. Oh, I can hear myself. You can hear yourself. That's not good. Well, that's a sound. I don't mind. This is not working very well at all. <laughs> sound like you're 10 meters underwater. Fine. That doesn't work in the slightest. What a terrible product. Okay, okay, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine because uh, I can rescue this with uh, my webcam for today, which is the Game Boy camera. It's actually crazy how this works. So the Game Boy camera is mounted onto its own cartridge and goes into the console as its own video game, which means that when you turn it on, this is kind of weird. They've done a really good job of gamifying the camera experience. I mean, I've never ever seen a camera that looks like this. Okay, so I'm gonna line it up with my face. Oh, that is a very unfortunate image. It's the fact that the pixels are either black or they're white, which makes it very, very unflattering. Or as some would say, Cursed. So, we navigate to our library. So if we now click on view, what the hell? 
It is absolutely my nephew. And now we click print. This is disturbing imagery. You click print and then it transfers that to the printer, which is actually kind of crazy because it doesn't use ink at all. It basically applies pressure and heat to heat sensitive paper. Um, yes, there's a reason most printers use ink. You know what tops the whole thing off is that it just looks like a minion <laughs> gone wrong. So let's see if extending your fingers can actually make you more productive. So you secure your finger in the thread and then slide it all the way in. This is where you feel the consequence of having incredibly fat fingers. Holy cow! This is how people turn evil. You see the power that's possible from the other side. Hey Milo, you want a little cuddle? Why is he not like the slightest bit freaked out that my fingers are now three times the length and made of plastic? Did you actually just make yourself more comfortable? I swear this cat's cursed. <laughs> He's looking at it. He never normally sits this still for a cuddle. I'm extremely confused. I'm even more curious how he's gonna react to this. This is the cat lick brush. It's designed to communicate with the cat in the same way that their mother used to. I'm about to lick my cat. It says bite. Right. Hey. <laughs> Hell no! He's not interesting. The evil fingers are fine. Your mother's tongue you don't like. No. Don't, don't you dare, girl. Are you leaving right now? Catch these days. It's time for the world's creepiest money box. I'm bad. To uh, deposit my earnings for the day. There's something about it that's really, really just chilling. So I think you just take your coin. Ah! And <laughs> she just said, take my money. It's the way it moves like skin. Get in my belly! So this is meant to reduce your stress levels, apparently. And I, mean, I can't think of a day that I've needed that more. Why is everything so skin-like today? You have to heat up the pimple pus. Oh, this is pimple juice. Right, okay, the pus is sufficiently warmed. The idea is that it's like a reusable toy, so you fill the holes yourself, squeeze them out yourself, then refill them. Do you get like refills for the sauce? No. You <laughs> Did you just call it sauce? And you basically need to let that set for a minute. Kind of like baking, except you don't get a cake at the end. And that would make this like spot batter. Yeah, boy. Three, two, one. Oh, it's solidified into like one big pus worm. Why do people like this so much? And I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you think that's disgusting, you actually have not seen anything yet. No. Why is it 10 p.m. and this still isn't done? It's the least instant gadget in this entire video. Watch out, this isn't even a pair of underpants. What? You can't wear that. And if it wasn't bad enough that we've had to wait a day for instant underpants, you can see through them. I think we've been pranked. But here is where it gets many, many tears worse. So you remember the grow cable, right? Well, this lady has very kindly been keeping me updated with them. Um, the entire production process. Like, just imagine for a second, you're strolling around, you're going about your day-to-day -day life, and you get a message. You open that message, and you see this. This lady has spared me no detail. And I'm not gonna lie to you, as cursed of a product as it is, it's actually come from a really interesting place. This lady's an artist, and she basically sees the world and sees people's reliance on smartphones, and so she's handcrafted this umbilical cord charger to symbolize that. In the same way that a baby relies on its mother and feeds via an umbilical cord. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is about to be the most scarring thing I've seen all day. Three, two, one. Oh, it comes in packaging. <laughs> Thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy your fun charging time. Why is it presented on a bed of silk? I really dislike having to open it this way because it means that by the time it's open, it's already in my hands. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, please stop. <laughs> oh no. Why is it so realistic? There have been far, far too many skin-like gadgets today. This one's by far the worst. Should we plug it in? Well, hey, at least it's USB-C. I <laughs> wonder what the transfer rate is. So that end goes into my laptop. Oh, it's so squishy. I swear I just felt something move here. Ah! <laughs> scared the hell out of me. So I think the idea is that if I now put my phone in, I'm so sorry, Drisha. <laughs> Such an unfortunate wallpaper choice. It's like, how do I even explain this? I'm only just realizing the level of detail she's gone to on the skin of this. You've got all the tiny little textures that normal humans would have. It's even got all the redness and the bumps and the 
Veins. I can't believe we spent four and a half thousand dollars on this. But hey, I mean, if you're enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be groovy. Oh, I nearly forgot the best thing. Good vibes only for this part. It's the small maker. I would actually do bad things for a dessert right now. So it's biscuit, marshmallow, biscuit. And then for some reason, it tells me to fill this with water. Oh, I was wondering what these arms were for. They actually managed to hold the biscuit in place. <laughs> this I cannot wait for. And you know what else is heating up right now? Opera's browser. There's five reasons that you just need to try it. You can customize it exactly the way you want it. Like we've actually made a custom Mr. Who's the Boss version of this browser that you can use too, including custom wallpapers. If you use this version, you also get not just Opera's baked in privacy features, but also an inbuilt ad blocker that's enabled by default, which cuts thousands of ads out and therefore loads pages faster. You get a custom news feed that's tailored to people who are interested in tech, custom speed dials that automatically reroute you to tech-based websites, and an an automatic feed of our videos. So download my version of the Opera browser. It is the best browser for tech fans. Oh, that smells amazing. Look at this. It's so gooey. That is the most perfect s'more I've ever seen in my life. That makes this entire day worth it.